Hey everyone, I'm Kiernan from Flurn, and I'm here to tell you all about our Black Friday sale. There's a little something for everyone at Flurn.com. If you're brand new to Photoshop, you'll want to check out Photoshop 101 and 201 to get you started. Or maybe you want to start perfecting those retouching skills. In that case, check out the Ultimate Guide to Retouching. And if you're looking to learn some compositing, we have just the tutorials for you. So head over to Flurn.com because everything is 30% off from right now until December 2nd. Use promo code Black Friday to get your shopping on. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the video timeline in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, it's super simple. We're gonna show you how to use the video timeline in Photoshop to create a short animation. This is gonna be super useful for anyone who wants to take a still image and animate just one part of it. Today we're animating some robot eyes. We're gonna show you how to take those eyes and put them on a new layer and then how to use keyframes to move them from one point to another and animate between those keyframes. To finish it off, we're gonna show you how to save your image out as a GIF and get it ready for the internet. All right guys, so here's our image for today. We got an awesome robot toy. This thing is so, so cool. And my goal here is to animate these eyes. I want them to just kind of move around because I, I think it's gonna be really funny. So right now we just have a background layer and what I need to do is I need to get these eyes in a, like I need to get them appropriate for animating, which means I need to get them on a new layer. So let's go ahead and select them. We're gonna zoom in real quick and I'm gonna grab my magic wand tool. Now the magic wand tool is an awesome tool for selecting anywhere that's like similar to where you click. So I'm gonna click on the eye, we're gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna click right down there on the bottom too. So just a couple shift clicks and now we're selecting the eye and the little reflection. Refraction. The reflection. The reflection, and then we'll just duplicate that to a new layer. So I have those selected. I'm on my background layer. We're gonna hit Control or Command J, which is gonna put those on a new layer. It's gonna duplicate them. Okay, now let's use my Move tool, and you can see I'm able to move these eyes anywhere I want them. Now, we got one small problem here, and that's that the original eyes are still there. So let's go ahead and make these eyes invisible for now. We're gonna create a new layer on top of our background and it'll be really simple to just get rid of these eyes. What we're gonna do is on here on my new layer, we're gonna grab our brush tool. So that's B for the brush tool, all right? We're gonna hold Alt or Option. That's gonna bring up our eyedropper which is gonna allow me to sample some color. And I'm just gonna choose a large soft edge brush and paint right over top of those eyes. There we go. So we're just sampling the color here or the background. There we go. And painting right over top of the eyes. There we go. Let's sample down there. All right. And you can see really quickly, we've completely removed those eyes. Now, if you need to use a layer mask to kind of clean this up a little bit, like if you paint it up, you know, a little bit larger than you needed, no problem. Just grab your layer mask and just paint that in. And there we go. We have a perfect uh, robot with no eyes. It's kind of creepy right now, but don't worry. Let's bring this layer back in and here we have our eyes and we're ready to move these around. All right guys, so we've got our eyes on a new layer and now I need to figure out how to animate those throughout time. So we're gonna go up to window and down here to timeline. Now here in our timeline, we have a couple options. We have the option to create a frame animation or a video timeline. Now a video timeline is what's going to allow us to create keyframes that are gonna allow us to move the eyes from one point to another. So anytime you have to move something throughout time using keyframes, that's when you want to create a video timeline. So let's create the video timeline. We're gonna click right here, and here we're gonna see basically all of our layers that we have are now here in our video timeline. So as I scroll throughout time, nothing really happens, but we can see we have our layer one, which corresponds to layer one, and we have our layer two, which corresponds to our layer two and our background. All right, now to make things easy, this layer two right here is just what made the eyes invisible. I'm gonna shift click that with our background and hit command E. That's just gonna merge those two together, okay? So really all I have is my layer one that needs to move around right now. Okay. 
So we've got our layer one and we can see our layer one right there. So now as I move my layer one around using my move tool, you can see nothing really happens in my animation timeline because we need to set up what's called keyframes. Now a keyframe is like a marker. If you have a keyframe of the eye in one place and then you create a keyframe of the eye in another place, Photoshop is gonna automatically translate the distance from one of those guys to the other one. So all you have to do is set one keyframe here and another one there and Photoshop's automatically going to move those eyes back and forth. So let's show you how to use those keyframes. To set up your keyframes, we're gonna go to our layer one. We're gonna click this little drop down window right here. And then we have keyframe for position, for opacity, and for our layer style. Now in this case, we're doing it super simple. We're just gonna work with position here. So let's go ahead and move our eyes to a position that we like. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now here layer one, we're gonna click on this little stopwatch. And you can see we've created a keyframe, this yellow triangle or diamond or whatever shape that is, that is a keyframe. So now what we have to do is move our animation slider right over to the right and we can create another keyframe. So let's go ahead and move our eyes over here to the left. There we go. And it automatically created another keyframe for us. So remember, a keyframe is going to mark the place of an object. So we have one keyframe over here, another keyframe over here. And now when we move between those two keyframes, it's gonna automatically move those eyes for us. So now that we've created our keyframes, all we have to do is hit the play button and we're gonna see the eyes move from one place to another. So let's go ahead and do that. Now here in my settings, we're gonna turn on loop playback and then we're gonna hit the play button. And we're gonna see the eyes just basically go from one place to another. And then they kind of snap back. So let's say I wanted this, the eyes, I do want them to go from there to there, but then I want them to go back again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this keyframe right here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to copy, copying that keyframe. Then let's push back to about right here. We're gonna right click. There we go. Let's bring our video timeline just a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna right click and we're gonna hit paste. All right. We'll do it right there, and it's going to paste my key, my eyes right back there. Okay, now let's hit play here, and we're gonna see the eyes now travel to the original point. So that's basically what our animation is here, guys. The eyes are going from one side to another. Now, if I want them to just kind of hang there in the middle for a little bit, let's right click here on this guy. We're gonna right click and hit paste. There we go. Oh, let's make sure our timeline is in the right place. There we go. We'll put our timeline in the right place, copy and then hit paste here and it's gonna put it right there and that way it's gonna hang right there for just a second. So let's hit play and then see how that looks. So it's gonna hang on the left and if I want it to hang on the right a little bit too, I'm gonna to hit copy here and then go over to paste and it's gonna hang on the right a little bit as well. So hang on the left and it'll hang on the right. All right, let's go ahead and make our hang time a little bit longer just so it's not so creepy. You don't want the eyes like just bouncing back and forth. That's, that's really weird and creepy. So let's hit play there. It'll go through and render. All right, there we go. And that's how we use our animation in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and hit stop and we're gonna show you how to export this out as a GIF and get it online. All right guys, so we've got our animation perfect in Photoshop. Now we have to figure out how to export that and how to put it on the web. So to do that here in Photoshop, I'm gonna go to file, we're gonna go down to export and then down to save for web. Now, if you're using an older version of Photoshop, your save for web might be located up here. They moved it with the newer version to the export menu. So let's go to save for web. Now we do have an animation in this case, right? Which means that we have to choose our file type very carefully because a JPEG and a PNG and a WBMP, none of those support animation. The only file format that does support animation is a GIF, so make sure you're selected on GIF. Now I recommend having perceptual and diffusion checked as well, and then convert to sRGB is gonna make sure it's in the same color space that common web browsers use like Chrome and Safari. All right, next we can choose our width. If you wanna change your size here, you can do that as well. And our looping options. So if you want to loop this once, you can do that just one time, or you can have this loop forever. Now I can hit play here on the animation, and you're gonna see it's kinda kinda scroll through our animation and it's gonna move the eyes. Right now it's doing it at a creepily slow pace, but they are moving. All right, let's hit pause there. 
Now, before I go ahead and save, I wanna hit this preview button right here on the bottom left, and that's gonna show me what it looks like in an internet browser. All right, all right, cool. So let's hit preview and it's gonna pull up a web page here for me, just this JPEG, and we're gonna see what our animation actually looks like online. And there we have our animation. You can see how it's pausing from the left side and to the right side. And you can upload this to any website that displays GIFs. There we go, guys. That's how we create a frame animation in Photoshop. So let's go back to Photoshop real quick. Let's hit the save button and we're good to go. All right, guys, and that's how we use the video timeline in Photoshop. Just remember these key steps if you wanna create an animation. The first thing you're gonna need is something to animate. In this case, we selected out those eyes and copied them onto a new layer. And then we went ahead and filled in the area behind the eyes with just plain white. Next, it's time to animate those eyes. Go to Window and then down to Timeline to bring up your video timeline. We're using keyframes to mark the position of the eyes. Keyframes mark where something actually is, and then Photoshop automatically figures out the difference between them. So if you place a keyframe here and a keyframe with your eyes there, it's gonna automatically translate between the two. In this case, we wanted our eyes to hold from side to side rather than just bouncing back and forth really quickly. So we copied a keyframe, moved the video timeline, and then pasted that same keyframe in. That just means it's gonna hold that position for a longer period of time. Once you have your animation complete, it's time to export it out in Photoshop. Go to File, Export, and then Save for Web. Make sure your settings are GIF, Perceptual, and Diffusion. Go ahead and set your looping options. You can either have it loop once or forever. And I recommend clicking on the Preview button on the bottom left. That's gonna show you what your image actually looks like on the internet. And now you guys are ready to create your own animation. Thank you so much for watching Flurn. I love hanging out with you. I hope you like hanging out with me too. If you wanna learn more Photoshop and photography from Flurn, just click on that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Thanks so much guys, I'll Flurn you later. Bye everyone. And today's episode, it's a super limp, super limp -lope. <laughs> What, you can't copy keyframes in Photoshop? That's ridiculous, Photoshop. Bring up your animation game, man. <laughs> I have energy. Okay, okay. Who around the world can? Hey everyone, I'm Kiernan from Flurn, and I'm here to tell you all about our Black Friday sale. That sounded so disgusting. I didn't like it. Don't get goofy? You said get goofy though. The <laughs> If you're just getting started in Photoshop, why don't you come to Flurn? If you haven't bought Ultimate Guide to Retouching yet, it's time. They're both really fun. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. I just keep going. I just keep going. Wow, I'm so good. <sighs> this is not wine. So head over to Flurn. Hi. <laughs> head over to Flurn.com because everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. <clears throat> no, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Black Friday, wow. Code is Black Friday, people. I bet you couldn't figure that one out.